coming. Ah. Good morning. Stop screaming. Rough night, huh? Cool. I tell you, I'm getting too old for this. Well, that's reassuring, Tad. What happened? Too many boilermakers. Out celebrating? Yeah. I assume you found out who the father of Dixie's baby is. Did you? Well, are you going to keep me in suspense? Tell me, who is it? Me. asking me a question like that? I loved you, Dixie, and you have chosen the most vicious way to attack me. You might as well have driven a knife through my heart. Are you? You've given my child to another man. I am not giving my baby to Tad. Oh, really? No. You've led everyone to believe that he's the father. Well, I don't know why he's claiming to be. I didn't ask him to. I certainly didn't want him to. I was furious with him. Well, were you? Were you really? Well, strange, it didn't look that way. <laughs> well, I could hardly make a scene in front of everybody else, but of course I was furious with him. This has made a thousand more problems for me. Oh, really? Well, perhaps it's, it's made things much simpler for you, because if you have no longer have any feelings for me, you now have a stand-in father to take over. Adam, you know I have feelings for you. Oh, yes, perhaps you still feel gratitude, maybe. Adam, don't do this. You know I care about you. You care about me, and yet you're playing along with Ted. I am not playing along. This whole thing came out of the blue. I was confused. But I know my mind about you. Are you saying that you still... Uh, yes. Yes, a thousand times yes. I love you. I always will with all of my heart. Well, what about Ted? We'll ignore him. No, 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 I'm afraid we can't just ignore him. If he claims paternity and you say nothing, then he has legal rights, possibly. He could even get custody of the child. Well, Ted wouldn't do that, and they couldn't anyway. He's not the father. Ah, uh, my lawyers say it's quite possible. No, Ted wouldn't do that. Oh, you're so naive. Oh, you are very, very naive. If he marries you, he becomes the legal father anyway. Oh, how could you... I don't see how you could even say, such, think such a thing. I don't love Tad. I'm not going to marry Tad. I love you, only you. You have to believe that. Tad's not going to just go away. Well, he's not going to run my life either. I know what I'll do. I'll talk to him. I will get him to take it all back. You think you can? Yeah. Don't worry. Oh, Dixie, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I'll just get a move on. I've got a lot of straightening out to do with Mr. Martin. Right. Yeah, I bet. It was worth it, though. You should have seen Chandler's face. What a kicker. It was worth even the pain to stand in his living room and tell his you family that I was the father. You can to... a piece of low-life sleaze. What do you think that's what it's all about? Having a little game of one-upsmanship with Adam Chandler? What about Dixie? Wait, what oh, about the no, baby? No, wait, wait a minute. Let me finish No, I don't have the have stomach a... to let you finish. Boy, I have known a lot of winners in my day. Scrape the bottom of the barrel, but darling, you are the bottom of the barrel. Hey! Hey, shut up. Rodents. You don't understand. I feel like I'm defaming rodents by even comparing one with you. But I a sewer rat has got more character than you have. I 
just don't believe this. What do I have? Stenciled across my forehead? This woman will just swallow any piece of sleaze that Tad Martin dishes out to her? I never told you anything well, you know, about the truth. I should have known this. I should have known this from the day that I met you, Tad. Because you don't have one decent bone in your body, do you? You are disgusting. Oh. I see. Sure, um... Once a screw-up, always a screw-up. Is that what you think? That's right. And you are the champion screw-up as far as I'm concerned. Look, I'm leaving the office just as soon as I can find another space. You got that? And a closet will do just fine because anything, anything would be preferable than sharing airspace with you. By all means, look elsewhere. I shall. I certainly hope this baby takes after Dixie because what the world really does not need is another Tad Martin. Don't yell. Tad Martin, I'll Don't be... yell, please. My aspirin hasn't kicked in yet. Oh, you feel rotten, huh? Well, good. I hope my voice sounds like a railroad train crossing your brain. Well, you're nothing if not imaginative. You have got to take back what you said about being the baby's daddy. Are you nuts? No, I'm not nuts, and I am not going to take any more slippery speech from you. Either you tell everybody that you are lying, or I will. Then what? Then what, what? Then what, what? Will you tell people who the real father is? No, Tad, I can't do that. You know I can't. I know you can't, but what do you think's gonna happen after? Nothing. Don't be a fool. The Chandler family are like a bunch of sharks right now circling you. They want the truth, and they're not gonna give up until they get it. Oh, don't be silly. I'm not being silly. I'm the only person here being realistic. Look. You started this little show, lady. I yeah, yeah, you started it. And if you bring up the curtain on Act Two, and you haven't got a hell of a finale, the audience is going to tear you limb from limb. So if I'm not Papa Bear, then who the hell is? Well, I think it's none of their damn business. Oh, yeah, that's, that, that's wonderful. Let's just remember that that attitude has worked real well until now. You are just as bad as everybody else. Why doesn't anybody respect my privacy? I am not going to betray the man that I love, Yo, then. Chops, the man you love is married, remember? Not only that, he doesn't love you. If he did, he'd be willing to admit that the baby you're carrying is his. Okay. Okay. Let's say I'm wrong about Adam, that he's a prince among men, that he means every promise he ever, ever made to you. He's gonna, he's gonna divorce Brooke. He's gonna marry you. You're gonna raise the baby together. If all that's true, then why is he making so much noise about signing the adoption papers? That is and why the do baby. they state that the baby is going to Adam and Brooke? If he loves you, then who the hell cares about Brooke? Why Brooke? Because Adam... Because Adam Chandler is trying to talk you out of your firstborn. No. And he'll do anything, anything to make that process sound logical. Well, sometimes he does confuse me. But... Why does that not surprise me? Listen, just... Calm down for a while here, okay? Now listen, little Jethro Jr. isn't due for a while. So don't be in such a hurry to sign the little nipper away. If I were you, if I were in your position, I would take every spare minute I could get my hands on before I made a move. But Adam wants me to do it would now. Would you forget about Adam for a while? Think about yourself. Take advantage of what Daddy Tad has done for you. Cool out for a while. Sit back. Kick your shoes off. Think. Well, I guess, I'd be, I mean, I could... I would give me just a plan. Yeah, and, and, and things might still work out the way you want them to, you know? He he just might divorce Brooke and, and, and marry you, and everything would work. It, it doesn't matter. It all might still come to pass. Or it might not. And if it doesn't then you're free and clear to hightail it out of town with Junior under your arm, no strings attached. Dixie, either way you go, you stand, you, you, you stand to gain everything by just laying low for a while. And don't give me that I'm trying to manipulate your, your life look, because all I'm trying to do here is give you time so that you can decide for yourself. I hate to admit this, Ted, but some of what you're saying makes sense. Yeah. So what do you say? Well... Doubtless that's the cavalry with my medication. Oh. oh, good. You're both here. I'm gonna straighten out this mess right now, and I'd better get the truth. Nice to see you too, Farmer. Dixie, is Tad the father of your baby? Yes or no? Well, yes. 
Tad Martin is the father of my baby. But that's not possible. Uncle Palmer, yes, it is possible. I'm sorry if it's a shock, but it's the truth. Well, no, if, if that's the truth, why didn't Tad say something earlier? Why, Tad, why didn't you admit it earlier? Because I'm the lowest form of life on the planet, in case you didn't already know. Dixie, are you sure? Uncle Palmer, of course I'm sure. I'm not that kind of girl. Well, certainly not. Certainly not. Of course not. You have a lot to answer for, Tad Martin. I, 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 I'm, I'm perfectly aware of that, sir, and I want you to know that I fully intend to live up to my responsibility both to Dixie and the baby. Now, hold up, hold on just a minute. Now, if you are the father of the child, what is all this business about Adam and Brooke adopting the, the baby? Well... Well, we, I, uh, that is to say, I, I, we both wanted to make sure that the baby was ensured the, uh, the, the best possible future, and right. we still haven't ruled out the idea of adoption. That's right. I always thought you were a miserable son. Hey, you hold on right there. Now, this here's the father of my baby. And I won't have you bad-mouthing him. We have enough problems as it is. All right, just hold on now. Whether he's the father or not the father, he's not going to ruin your life. And the Chandlers are not going to ruin your life. You're coming home with me now, where you belong, and I'll settle your future. No, sir, you will not. I beg your pardon. The only one who's going to settle my future is me. And I want you to go now, Uncle Palmer, right now, and I mean it. All right. All right, I'll go. But it is not settled. You'll hear more from me. Yes! I... Oh. Mm, that was great. You were... You were... You were wonderful. You were terrific. Let me tell you something, lady. If you can stand up to Palmer Cortland like that, you can rule the world. But I gotta make sure that he gets his three squares a day and then some. <laughs> well, look at this. They're gonna have to roll me out the I door. I don't like the calories either. I'm serious about nutrition. Have a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> oh, nutrition, huh? Mm -hmm. Pad Martin, chicken finger king extraordinaire. You know something, Miss Emma. It's nice to hear you laugh again. <laughs> For a while there, I thought the Galloping Grimms had picked you up and carried you out. Well, don't be afraid, Sir Galahad. I feel practically lighthearted. Now, you know what it is, too. It's standing up to Palmer Cortland that did it. <laughs> well... <laughs> I don't think that's going to last for long. Well, even if it doesn't, you did the right thing. Because mm -hmm. if you stick to this Daddy Taddy story, as far as Pine Valley is concerned, you are safe for Madam Chandler. Ted Martin, if you think that the only reason that I am doing this is because I don't trust Adam, then you are completely off. Well, why are you doing it? To prove to you and to everybody else that Adam is going to do the right thing. And uh, maybe prove it to yourself? Must be real nice to have a job like yours. Maybe it'll disappear any time you want. Where's Mr. Chandler? With Mrs. Chandler, where he belongs. Oh, you should have seen them. So sweet, so much in love. They couldn't keep their hands off each other. That'll be all, Marcia. Thank you. Marcia likes to fictionalize, ignore her. Did you see Tad? Yes. He's sticking by his claim. What? I tried talking to him. Wouldn't budge. What's he after? Well, you're just going to have to tell everyone he's lying. I'll back you up. You'll admit that you're the father? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, not now. For your sake, Dixie, it's... it's it's not possible. I'm not sure I understand that. Well, it's just, it's not the right time right now. It would be much too hard on you. Mm. Well, then, I guess we just have to stick with Tad's version. No, no, that's not, that's not good enough. You've got to talk him out of it. Dixie. Listen, we have to hop foot it over to the restaurant and we're going to lose our lunch oh, reservation. Yes, yes, yes. Okay? I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, we'll, uh, we'll talk later. We'll, we'll work it out. Have a nice lunch. All right. Thank you. Thank you.
say is today has got to get better. I think 